Good morning, my good people. My name is Barra Kabaka Brown, and uh, I have been asked to do a uh, five to ten minutes um, presentation on basic salutation and conversation in a Bani language. Uh, but before I proceed, I would like to encourage um, Bani people, youths especially, to please subscribe to the Let's Speak a Bani language group on Facebook. It's a very good platform for teaching and learning of the Ebani language that, as we all know, is facing extinction. But I'm sure with all these effort of ours, the language will really come to stay. So uh, I am going to start with um, salutation, basic salutation in Ebani and uh, how we greet uh people depending on how we meet them the uh, various um, categories or stratum of people so um i'm also going to be differentiating singular and plural as the case may be um ebama is good morning in ebani ebama is good morning in ebani so when you meet one person who is uh, your mate, or who is a friend of yours, who uh, is in the same class as you are, you say Ebama. Maybe you call the person's name Boma Ebama. That is Boma. Good morning. Then, if you meet somebody who is in the same category or in the same age group like you you say obama so you see obama is for one person obama is for more than one person so obama obama okay now if you if you run into uh, a group of uh, people who are your seniors uh, what you need to say is senior obama now, Senapo is for more than one. Senapo is for one person who is your senior. So when you meet somebody who is your senior, you, you say Senapo Obama. Then more than one, you say Senapo Obama. Can we now see the difference? Senapo Obama for one person, Senapo Obama for more than one person. Now, the other category of persons you might uh, run into are uh, mothers. Now, when you run into mothers, you say, Iye yingyapo, Obama, more than one. Iye yingyapo, Obama, more than one. That is, my mother's good morning. You can also say, that is, if you don't want to personalize it too much, you can say, yingyapo, Obama, that is, mother's good morning. Yingyapo, Obama, that is mother's good morning. Um, you can also run into a, a, a group of persons made up of uh, mothers, brothers, uh, people of your age bracket, people who are your, your juniors, your siblings, and you want to greet generally, you just say, Ye biminapo, Ye biminapo, Obama, Ye biminapo, Obama, that is my brethren. Good morning, or you say, brethren. Good morning. That is, brothers, sisters, everybody there present. You say, good morning. Good. Now you can also, you may also run into um, elders. Now when I mean elders, I'm talking of Wari Senapo. That is house elders, an elder from uh, Jacobson Purple House an elder from Boyamuso Brown House, an elder from the Wilcox House, you now say, Wari Senebo, Ebama. That's one elder. You say, Wari Senebo, Ebama. Now, if you meet two elders and more, you say, Wari Senebo, Obama. I take it again. Wari Senebo, Obama. That is two elders, two Elders, what is Senapo? You now say, What is Senapo? Obama. Okay, now 
Um, another group of persons uh, want to look at here is the title citizen. And as we know, we have Amopu Senapu, Amopuere, then Ama Senapu. Now, Amopu Senapu is referred to senior title citizen, more than one senior title citizen of Bonnie Kingdom. So when you see them, you now say Amopu Senapu, Obama. Ambopu Senapo, Obama, plural. Now, if it's one person alone who is an Ambopu Senapo, you now say Ambopu Senapo, Obama, Ambopu Senapo, Obama. Okay? Then, if it is the female folk, we have Ambopo Now, Ambopo Robo is one title female that one female citizen of Bonnie Kingdom who is titled. So we now say Amoporobo at singular. Then for plural we now say Amopuere. Amopuere is for more than one um, title citizen who are females. So Amopuere we say Obama. So Amoporobo singular Amopuere plural. So when it's horrible, amoporobo, we say amoporobo, Obama. Then amopuere, Obama. That is the difference. Well, for chiefs, we say salabo. Salabo is one, is a chief, singular. Then salapo is plural. Salapo is plural. So salapo, Obama. Salabo, Obama. That's the difference. I hope we understand. So then we will go into um, basic conversations that goes with Obama. So you're walking on the road and you see somebody, uh, you see a water tenable who asks you, uh, Goma Toro. You say, Bim. Water tenable, Bim. The water center will now ask you, Toro, Nde Wangare Bara. That's how are you, how are you moving? What's your, what's your movement like? You are going to work. If you are going to work, you tell the, uh, whoever is asking you the question, Afrekirimuare. That is, I am going to my place of work. Afrekirimuare is, I am going to work. Now, Afrekirimuare is, I am going to my place of work. Do we see the difference now? Now, if you're going to the market, you say Afemuare. That is, you are going to the market. If you are going to school, you say Adiridao Warimuare. Adiridao Warimuare. That is, you are going to school if you are at Nde Wangarebara. Some persons might also say Some Wangarebara or Etoro Wangare. That's how you, it's generally about your movement. You know, you now tell the person Afemuare, meaning I'm going to the market. Adiridao Warimuare. That means uh, I'm going to school. Afere muare, I am going to work. Afere kiri muare, I am going to my place of work. Depending on where you are going to, you can respond in that manner. Okay? In a not too colloquial manner, we, when somebody, a friend of ours, even if he's an elder who is very close to us, uh, yeah, boma nde wangare bara, some wangare bara, you don't tell the person, Atoro Sabare. That means I am crossing the sea, and when you're crossing the sea, you're going to Port Harcourt. Or you say, maybe you meet the person in Port Harcourt, and the person asks you, Bomande uh, Wangarabara. You tell the person, Amamware. As soon as you say, Amamware, that means you are coming home. Okay? To be very specific, you say, Okulamamware. Okulama is 
bunny and then you tell the person okolama muare that means you are you are going to bunny okay so uh, basically um, these are some of the things we need to understand so that in our daily conversations we can put into practice and um, I hope uh, it's going to help uh, the process of uh, the teaching and learning of a banning. Um, in the next um, edition, hopefully, which will come out very soon, uh, we are going to be looking at um, receiving visitors in our homes. When a visitor comes to our house, the, the types of basic conversation we have with those visitors who come to our house and certain things we need to tell our children on how to welcome visitors to the house. I hope this um, very brief presentation uh, will help us a bit. Um, I wish you a jolly good listening. Thank you till we meet again once more. My name is Barra Kabaka Brown. Bye.